All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another one, y'all, back with another post fight discussion video. And new, and new. Juliana Pena becomes the two time bantamweight champion over Rocky Pennington. Okay, so another split decision on this card. Another one, y'all. These judges, I mean, these judges. I mean, for real, though, look, after watching the fight a second time, all of these fights, you, you have to blame the fighter in some way. Of course, the judges are on one whenever they have those 30 27 cards, but that's. It's like I always say, man, you got to go in there, do the work, make a statement. Don't leave it in the hands of the judges, man. You know, um, Pena, she does it again in a close fight over Rocky and a solid performance from both ladies. I mean, this was a fight that turned out better than what a lot of what a lot of fans anticipated. You know, everybody's looking for a boar snore fest, boar fest, snore fest, whatever you want to call it. But this fight delivered, y'all. It delivered with the action and the skill set here. It wasn't boring at all. It wasn't amateurish. Both of these ladies... They played a solid chess match and had good moments. So first off, I want to say, you know, shout out to both of the fighters for, you know, putting on a good performance and really, you know, uh, giving each other a test. Um, most of all, these two ladies show just about everybody on the card how to use a doggone jab. They showed everybody how to use a doggone jab, man. Pena, she came in with a solid, hard, basic jab that was really set. It was really setting her pace and taking rocky out of taking rocky out of rhythm but rocky she had a quick snappy jab that set up power shots so good work on both sides man um do i think pena did enough to win the fight in my opinion again even after watching it a second time no i just didn't see her winning the belt back convincingly you know she didn't just she didn't whoop the champion like she did not whoop whoop the champion like that but it was one of those moments you know someone had to take control and dominate the fight and just not let the judges decide. And you know, Rocky should have had it in her her you know, Rocky should have had it in her head like, hey, I may be the challenger, but I may be the champion, but I gotta fight like the challenger. You know, I gotta fight like the challenger sometimes. You can't sit back and say, Oh, I'm the champion and let me pick my pick my pace and pick my moments here. Cause you know, Pena, even though people hate her, she's still kind of a favorite here as far as the promotion wise, right? So judges, you know, they're kind of looking at any moment to give that person that round. But like I said, I'm not really arguing it. I thought Rocky won both times. Um, maybe I'll look at that third, that first round again because that's the round that I think we all question. Like going back to the first round, I will say I like how Pena was actually staying patient and fighting behind a long jab and landing on Rocky early. Pena was stiffening her with that jab, but Rocky she caught Pena with a couple of good shots with, with a good left hook that on, like kind of knocked Pena back, you know, knocked off balance. And I think that was that two year wake up call right there because Pena. She took that shot. She was like, oh, oh, you know, she had to kind of regroup. But the boxing of both fighters, it was pretty solid, man. Pena, she did get in some good right hands. She was she was cracking Rocky. All right. So I can kind of see what y'all was looking at. You know, Rocky was having a hard time getting past that jab early. But in my opinion, Rocky, she started getting into her groove and then she started landing the better power shots. You know, behind that left hook, she landed a good combination, good, good, good uppercut and left hook that knocked Pena back and she started landing some leg kicks like some of her sequences they were looking better you know a few good left hands here and there you know knock, knocking Pena back the numbers were close but I thought okay Pena maybe landed more but to me Rocky she moved Pena with her shots more that's the one round I think you know I, we, we're going to disagree on maybe I might like Pena's what she did one day you know because I did love Pena's jab in this fight I like the stance you know I like how she had the shoulder up to defend a lot you know that's what was crazy like she was kind of out jabbing. She was kind of out jabbing uh, Rocky. I will say that. Uh, the second round, Pena, she had a better pacing. Again, good jabs in the clinch. Pena got a good solid body lock and took Rocky down and owned the round with her wrestling and control. She got Rocky's back and, you know, used her strength and grappling. You know, almost, almost got a submission attempt. So in the second round, definitely had to get at the Pena. Third round, Pena's defensive stance and her striking was very impressive. Somehow Rocky was not figuring out that, okay, let me slip this jab. I've seen Rocky slip the jab in the past, but why she was not slipping it this time, maybe she was a little tight. I don't know. Why she wasn't throwing leg kicks when Pena's front foot heavy, I don't know. You know, maybe her IQ wasn't as sharp as I thought, but yeah, Pena was heavy on the front leg, man. So Rocky, she she wasn't chewing up that lead leg. That was her fault. The basics were getting the job done for Pena in the third round. Pena, you know, she made it work. Again, in the clinch, Pena, she just got that body lock and trip. And it was like funny just watching that slow motion when she got the trip and just seeing Rocky go down and accept this. I was like, come on now, Rocky, you know better than that. Um, she got owned inside control, you know, getting the back again. Pena did. 
uh, almost got a rear naked choke attempt in this round, you know, so I had it two to one at this point, Pena. Fourth round though, Rocky, she was behind. She knew it. She needed to make some adjustment. Finally, she landed a good head kick. Head kick across the neck that almost knocked Pena, Pena back, knocked her back, almost knocked her out. But she let Pena recover. Rocky had to understand she didn't. She needed to mix it up. So when she started mixing in kicks, things started to work out a little bit better. You know, she, you know, whenever she stopped boxing, you know, she she started kickboxing, things started to work out a little bit better. But Pena's boxing, it was it was looking good. Um, Pena, you know, to me. You know, she was just doing what she was supposed to do here. You know, doing what she was supposed to do as Rocky. I wanted to see mix it up a little bit more. So when Rocky started jabbing to the body, it opened up a little bit more. And finally, she opened up with that big right hand that dropped Pena. I mean, go back and look at that reaction, man. Like, Pena's reaction whenever she ate the right hand, her eyes were closed. But when she went on attack, her eyes looked surprised that her body gave out. That kind of tells you, like, I'm going to talk about this in another video, like, Pena's chin might not be what it was, man. You know, the way she took that shot and her body, just her her expression, it was like two opposites. Some people, they just go down, but her body was like, oh, snap. Like, oh, man, I didn't feel that coming, you know? And she was feeling every bit of that knockdown. That's what was crazy. So um, Rocky, she probably should have let the fight stand back up here, just like Marina should have done in their fight. But instead, what does Rocky do? She goes in for a clinch, giving Pena a chance to recover. And like I said, man, look, as a boxer, everybody knows once you hurt a guy, create space. Don't let him lay on you because that's going to be a good time for him to tie you up and recover. You know, don't get too excited. You got to create space. Let him dance around on wobbly legs. And that's where you set up the knockout. Go to his body and knock him out. That's how Alex Pieta did to um, uh, Khalil. You know, when Khalil was... Um, going reeling back into the cage he doubled up the body shots and he went down right but anyways yeah rocky won the fourth round rocky did win that fourth round the fifth round the jabs from both of these fighters were solid tonight like i said i was pleased with that but rocky she started to follow up more following up with the right hand and she did buzz pena again hurt her again could have got her out of there she started walking her down landing some good shots but pena was still game landing her own right hands but i think rocky i think she rocked her a little bit more so here I was a little bit wrong. I know y'all asked me the other day, forgot who asked me, but who was stronger? I said Rocky. I think Pena's stronger. I think Pena's a little bit stronger physically. Well, I think, yeah, I think she's she's got the physical strength. Pena's got the physical strength, but as far as a harder hitter who has more power, I think that would be Rocky. I think Rocky's power is there. Um, Pena's a strong puncher, but Rocky, I think she's a little bit more like a heavy-handed hitter whenever she sits down on her punches, all right? So I think she did damage like that when she was – you know, really hurting Pena when she was trying to match her in that boxing. But yeah, man, um, I had a 3-2 Rocky again. I think she did enough to keep her belt. Um, Could have closed the show, but didn't. But again, that's her. She's to blame. If you had it for Pena, fine. If you gave it the first round, fine. I don't see a robbery, though. I don't see a robbery. Um, shout out to Pena, though. Two-time champion. She got it. Good on her. But we're going to talk about this in another video. The call out. Again, I'm not for champions calling out contenders, but I'm not for champions calling out fighters in retirement either. And if I had to make a choice between the two, I would acknowledge the fighter that tried to put me in my place at the press conference. Meaning Kayla Harrison, who was trash talking Pena at the press conference. So when Joe Rogan brought up the name Kayla Harrison, it's not necessarily a call out now. So Pena could have acknowledged that. Pena could have acknowledged that. You know, Pena could have said, oh, you bring, okay, since he bringing her up, let me go ahead and say this. All right, she's next. You know, she could have easily said that. Been like, okay, I'm going to fight her next. Yeah, I want her next. She, she was talking smack to me. I didn't like her performance. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Like she could have acknowledged it in that way. Like she didn't have to call Kayla out. No, but if you were going to call anybody out or if you were any type of, mindset to call somebody out call her out not amanda and, you know yeah if amanda was around we won a third fight but we ain't dying for it like that we know kayla's the next contender so acknowledge kayla now y'all y'all are kind of making this look like a duck now you know what i mean like whenever you don't just call out this girl that's in y'all's faces in y'all's division and talking trash you know she right there talking trash to you so call her out call her out we know it's going to be next now not amanda 
So you can, you can call for a man all day, but y'all ain't getting that. Pena, Harrison is the next fight to make. So yeah, that's how I saw the fight, guys. I thought Rocky did enough to keep her belt, but whatever now. Pena's the champ. The next fight, it should be Pena Harrison, guys. What do y'all think in the comment section? Good fight night, good co-main event. Combo Record 99, I'm out. Subscribe, peace.